Oh, man. Dub. Low out there for Dobbs, and he's got it. That part of the catch process, you're going to see he's going to hit the okay, ground. Isn't he down right here? Well, that's exactly right. He's got control. Now as he rolls over, you can see that ball pop loose right there. To me, that's all part of the catch okay. process. This, to me, appears to be incomplete. After review, Tough the goal. ruling on the field stands. Hoping for a late hit or a hit on the quarter. Oh, you know what that was? That was a, the, driving him into the ground. Right there, there's just a little bit of John. There's Walker with the shot. Oh, Wait, yeah. Walker. Yeah, yeah. Out of right there, there's just a little bit of John. There's Walker with the shot. Oh, Wait, yeah. Walker. Yeah, yeah. Out of bounds. Ooh. Helmet to the chin area. Helmet to chin area. I, I don't know if I like that call. Move here by the defense of Jacksonville. Cisco got him. I know we're protecting quarter. I see running down to five. See the ball come free. Watch the ball come free. So then there's a kind of a scrum for the ball on the Giants. Yeah. Wow. I mean, he was the one who was going off the field. I'll start. up and fires one on one down the sideline and incomplete no flags for it let's take a look that happens so fast nothing the passer defense number 94 it's a 15 yard penalty and an automatic first down I don't agree with this. If you watch this replay, watch. Wilkins is trying to get his hands off, and it's actually... Side of the corner. Lamb, it's incomplete. He was looking for a flag. There is none. Ooh. Yeah, I mean... He... Just can't react. <laughs> oh, and you can see Kinsey's reaction after right. it. Well, what a play. interference. Defense number four. That foul down. All right, so it is a pass interference on DJ Reed, so it turns out to be a 21-yard penalty arch. Oh, here you see it up top, and... Right there, they're arguing that Hutt, that they've been calling this game and some of the pass interferences on the on the Jets. Jason Rudolph underthrew this ball. If he throws it out in front, I think it's a catch and maybe a touchdown. Boy, oh, a little bit early on the contact. Never did see the ball. There was definitely some activity at the top of that route. Yes, there was. Yeah, I... Play action. End zone. There it is! Unbelievable! Now a flag comes in at the end. Is did Skipper, an offensive lineman, report... Here it is again to go back to this play to give you every look we can. Skipper comes in, he goes to Brad Allen and reports. Earlier this month, good snap, good hold. Oh, it's blocked, Veronic. A flag is down though. Now, did he jump up on top of someone? I think he used anybody to advance himself. He just jumped. So, after watching last week's game between the Bills and the Chiefs, and today's game with the Vikings and Bengals, I really think the NFL needs to make offsides a reviewable play. Why do I say that? Well, the play with Von Miller on 3rd and 15 against the Chiefs and today's play were nearly identical. In my opinion, when the center lifted his head and moved the ball, it was a split second but he was then across the line. This pick six was called back for offsides. But last week with Von Miller, again, my opinion, the plays looked very similar. Same kind of motion by the center, Von Miller across the line. This is not that hard to review, and I think it needs to be implemented moving forward in the NFL to avoid controversy with plays like this. What do you think? Am I crazy to say this? For a few years, a lot of people have been saying that they think the NFL is getting really scripted and it's getting really obvious. I didn't really agree with it. But after seeing this, this video by Isaac Punce, I have to agree, like some of this shit is just so blatantly obvious.